Hello, this is Kyle with Kirksville Web Design. Today we're going to be looking at setting up a custom web address for my website, for my Google Sites uh, website from a personal Gmail account. So I'm going to be using a domain registrar, which is GoDaddy, and I'm going to use my Google Sites, which is right here that we're looking at. So we're going to look at this whole process and hopefully we can uh, streamline things for you on uh, your next website launch so that you know uh, how to work with the domain registrar, how to set up the uh, forwarding, and also how to um, not only map the web address, but also uh, add uh, forwarding for the, the naked domain, which is like, you know, the .com without www or without HTTPS so forth. Okay, so let's just start here. I got this Google site and I'm ready to launch it. Let's go to publish, right? That seems logical. Uh, I need a Google Sites location, which is powered by G Site, so let's call it that. Great, uh, and I'm going to use a custom domain. Let's see how that is managed. Custom domain, so it brings up the settings panel, which is also accessible here. So I got it through publish, but you can get to it also through the gear cog icon. Okay, custom domain, start setup. Let's do that. I haven't really done any background setup here, so this is gonna cover everything, all the maybe hiccups that I encounter as well. So I am going to use a domain from a third party, which is GoDaddy. That's where I have my domain registered. I'll be using www. Uh, but you could use a different subdomain if you wanted to. www is the most common. And my website is called PoweredByGoogleSites.com. That is the one that I own. So what does it say? This domain is not verified. Please verify your ownership. So that's my next step. How do I verify my ownership? Well, it's done through the Google Search Console. I'm using my domain, do I want to use a domain or a URL prefix? i use my domain. I'm going to use the whole domain, I don't need just to say www, I own the entire domain, not just the subdomain, so why not just do the whole thing? Powered by googlesites.com, great, continue. So it's verifying, verify your ownership via DNS record, or let's see, it says instructions, go daddy, start the verification, so basically it's going to have me log in to GoDaddy since that is my registrar of choice. Uh, but I could use any DNS provider and look the instructions there. I could also follow this as well, which is fine. Uh, I think I'll stick with GoDaddy for now. It seems popular. Start verification. So it opens up GoDaddy. It says, do you want to connect it? Yes, I do. Authorizing Google, it's verifying. I don't know if it matters, but I was already logged into GoDaddy previously, so maybe uh, you would have to log in as part of that verification or log into GoDaddy verification process. All right, so it's verifying based on that. Let's see how long this takes. If I had a Jeopardy soundboard, I'd be playing that tune right now. Hey, great. Ownership verified. And I hope that is the outcome for you as well. <laughs> Let's go to the property, that's fine. I mean, I think that's essentially what I was looking for. Uh, I can also use this later, the search console. But let's go back now to the Google site. So I'm just gonna backtrack here because this is uh, somewhat, you know, failed that first attempt, so I need to verify it. So I verified it with Google Search Console. They know I own the domain from GoDaddy. Going to do the same process, powered by googlesites.com. The next button, you can say, yes, yeah, so you own, you own that. You ver are verified. Confirm. Next. Okay, so now it's going to talk about what I, the instructions I need to do through the DNS, through the third party domain registrar. 
And so I'll walk through that together. I don't need to keep this uh, these instructions up. I've done this dozens of times, hundreds of times maybe. So I know all the uh, all this. Really, if you want to grab anything, it'd just be like this uh, this dot com here, ghs dot google hosted dot com. You can copy that. The rest of it will be somewhat obvious once we get it, dive in there. Okay, I'll just say it's done. Just to say that progress, that the process is completed, which it isn't actually. Okay, good. Publishing is saying, okay, great, you published it. Let's, uh, this is allow 40 hours for the site to be viewable. Always a good idea. It, none of these things are instant results. Uh, there is a certain um, time period of that needs to kind of uh, propagate is the word. Okay, so now let's go to... GoDaddy. So this is my, I've logged into GoDaddy. This is my dashboard for this particular domain. Now I could either go to the quick links and do manage domain here, which is fine. Uh, or I could just do it here since um, I think that's the most universal way to do it. Okay, so for the domain, there's various options. I'm going to manage the DNS. I'm going to basically link my subdomain to my Google site. So that may have done, been done already, I'm not sure. Hopefully, okay, it kind of was done already because I had this set up before, let's just delete that. So we're gonna start fresh. Okay, so this would be in the instructions as well, um, but you'll just see me do it here. We're gonna add a C name. Our name is www, that is our subdomain. Our value is that which we uh, copied before, GHS Google Hosting Services. I don't know if that's what it means, but ghs.googlehosted.com with a period at the end. TTL, oh, it's about half an hour. And we'll save it like that. Updating my DNS records. Wonderful. So I've done everything per perfectly and correctly. Uh, to this point, we set the Google site, we've verified we own it, we've linked the uh, www, which we confirmed in the, in the publishing settings, uh, the custom domain, uh, to here, we've set up www as a C name. Okay, that's all synced up, that's all correct. So what uh, many people run into with a problem here is, is forwarding. So they kind of set up their www, but they don't realize, you know, when people are typing in this uh, web address, you know, often they just they just type in poweredbygooglesites.com, right? They're not writing HTTPS colon backslash backslash www, right? So they're just typing the naked domain. That's what they're called. So if we want to forward the naked domain, that's an important step. So we are accounting for people. I'm going to delete the previous forwarding so we can start again fresh. We want people to be forwarded to the subdomain that we've already set up and correctly. So we're going to forward the domain here, which is the naked domain, add forwarding. We are going to set up forwarding to HTTPS since it is a secure Google site. And we're going to send it to www.poweredbygooglesites.com. I messed that up already. Googlesites.com. This is a forward permanent type. You'll want to use 301. That is uh, the correct, we're not masking this. Uh, this is a permanent redirect. And it even tells you, what does it say? Specifies length of time for this forwarding setting, whatever. Okay, great. That's what we want to set up. Forwarding of the naked domain to this secure subdomain mapped custom web address Google site. All right, so those thing, two things are done. And now it also take, tells you here, success, but it's gonna take 48 hours. Uh, it's just kind of like their little uh, disclaimer, right? Sometimes it happens like in 10 minutes. Uh, we can check that, why don't we? Uh, so we've got the Google site running, right? Let's just double check here, publish settings, powered by Google Sites, I typed in correctly. It's published, is it private or public? Okay, publish site, public, great. So let's just open a new tab, www.powered 
by Google Sites.com. All right, so it's not working yet. But that is the entire process. I'm not going to wait here for it to propagate. Um, <laughs> what should I do? Like uh, another video where I'm uh, saying, oh, you know, it's a success. It is a success. It's just going to take a little time. The only other thing that could possibly be a problem is that this is forwarding to the old Google site and I did not like delete um, the previous web address mapping that was associated with it. So I'd have to go back to like the classic Google site, which is what I had before, and just make sure that that map, mapping is deleted on the classic Google site. Or maybe it was on a migrated classic Google site, migrated to new, new Google sites already, and I have to go there and delete it. Uh, that would be like my next sort of troubleshooting step if this fails and, and does not eventually you know, sync up. But I think Google has kind of accounted for that and uh, seems like they kind of clean up the, the web address uh, forwarding and, and mapping and they kind of see that you're setting up a new site as well so hopefully that's all turned out all right that was the whole process using uh, Google Sites using GoDaddy as a domain registrar setting up a subdomain uh, web address and then doing the naked domain forwarding or the, the you know uh, that forwarding option uh, that I showed you here that's everything thank you for tuning in Again, this is Kyle with Kirksville Web Design, and uh, I'll see you next time.